guys, welcome back to NFT Inspo. For today's video, we are going to show you how to fix Samsung tablet keyboard not working. So if you're interested, let's get started. So there's a few things you could do here to probably solve this issue with your Samsung tablet. So one of them is to make sure that everything is up to date. So if you have like any pending updates on your uh, Android device or in your Samsung tablet, you want to make sure to install th those first before proceeding with any fixes that I'll be showing you later on. So this case is install or update your uh, phone here. And once you've done that, restart your phone. And once your phone is started, see if that solves the issue. Now, if none of those work, well, this is where the fixes I'll be telling you would uh, come in. So the first thing that you want to do here is you might want to clear your keyboard cache. So usually for Samsung devices, they have their own Sam keyboard. So that is Samsung keyboard. Uh, in this case, all you need to do is you need to clear that cache. So you want to open up your settings here and you want to scroll down a bit and you want to look for the following, which is going to be apps. Let's go and open it up. Now, this might be different for you, but in this case, just look for apps and you want to go to manage apps. And from here, you want to look for Samsung keyboard. So since you can't use your keyboard here, you need to manually search for it. But to make it a lot easier for me, I'm just going to start typing uh, something in here. So as an example, I'm going to open up Gboard here. So usually you had any apps or any Android device this is what you usually see when you open it up. Now you want to go and click on clear data at the bottom right here and go ahead and click on clear cache and click on OK. Once you've done that, you could go exit this one and basically continue using it and see if that solves the issue. Now, by the way, if you don't see a Samsung keyboard or any other apps here that you're looking for or any kind of keyboard that you're using, you want to go and click on the tree that option at top right here and you want to click on the option that says show system services. So by default, it's going to be hidden. So you want to make it make sure that you show it so that you'll be able to search for it here. So if that doesn't work, the next thing that you could try here is to basically um, try a different keyboard. So in this case, you might want to use a different keyboard, like for example, Gboard, like what we saw before. So you could actually get this via your, like for example, let's go to our Google Play Store. You could go to your search here. And instead of just typing, since we can't actually uh, type here, you could go ahead and use your voice commands here. So if you do see a microphone next, uh, at the top or search section there, could, you could just basically uh, search for or click on it and just say Gboard. And it's going to uh, basically search Gboard here and you could go ahead and open up Google Boards or Gboard here and basically install it. And basically you want to basically change it in your settings. So you want to go to settings here and you want to go ahead and search for the following. So in this case, we'll be searching for additional settings and you want to look for languages and input. So in this case, language input might be outside or you might see additional settings. So you want to go ahead and either access that, but it's really important that you just access languages input and you want to go ahead and open up your current keyboard here and choose the appropriate keyboard that you want to use. So in this case, changing a keyboard here cannot actually help you up, but in this case, that's about it. So hopefully this video was able to help you like and subscribe to NFT Inspo. Thank you for watching.